Okay, welcome back, guys. Um, for those of you who are new here, welcome, and I am glad you are here. My name is Kay, and I am the creator behind the Ancient Gypsy YouTube channel. What I do here is I talk a lot about spirituality, manifestation, um, self-improvement, and self-mastery. So if that sounds like anything that you're interested in, go ahead and um, stick around for the rest of this video. And maybe check out the channel, consider subscribing, hitting the bell, all that good stuff. Um, for those of you who are loyal watchers and followers, welcome back. Uh, thank you to my 53 subscribers. I think we've made it up to 53. So thank you to all the 53 subscribers, thank you to all the loyal watchers, followers, people who like the video, comment, share, all of you, I appreciate you all so much. Um, today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys books I am currently reading. So this book is The Cave and the Light. It's a philosophy book, it's Plato versus, or Plato versus Aristotle, and the struggle for the soul and it's a uh, Western civilization it's by Arthur Herman um, it's a pretty thick book I haven't actually been able to start it yet but I'm going to be able to soon most likely and I'm really really excited I'm interested in philosophy I think it's um, I think it's really interesting, and I also think learning about philosophers is important if you want to be educated and cultured. The next book I have is Essential of Reiki. I cannot say the author's name. I think it's Mikio Yusu, maybe? I don't know. But um, this is like a, a beginner's book to Reiki, and I want to get certified in Reiki. I want to learn how to do Reiki and, you know, become a Reiki master myself. And this was a gift that was given to me on my birthday by my mom with um, a box of crystals and some other stuff for your chakras. It was a really sweet, thoughtful little package gift and I really, really love it. I have gotten a chance to read it a little bit and as you can see there's some sticky notes everywhere. Um, and a lot of it's really confusing, but I'm sure I'll understand it eventually. And then the third book I actually bought myself, it's Tarot for Beginners. Um, it's the Rider Deck book. And the reason I got this is because I just want to become as educated as possible. And I use this in the mornings, like when I do my three card spread that I, I um, do a three card spread that I do for myself um, as a way to practice divination. And that's when I use this book. That's when it's most helpful for me to use this book. I'll give you a little flip through. So, um, this book isn't as, as dense as, like, the philosophy book I showed you or the Reiki book, but it still has just as much information, um, and that's why I found using it in my morning spreads is a little bit more helpful rather than just trying to write down all this information and learn all this information at once and hopefully memorizing it. I want to actually really learn what this book has to offer. So that's why I'm taking so much time with it. But I recommend this for anybody, a uh, beginner, intermediate, anybody who just wants to perfect their tarot reading skills. Of course, if you have a different deck than the writer deck, you can always um, get the book specific for your deck. Um, but this is the deck I have. So those are the books I'm reading right now, guys. Um, I'm working on another video for you. I'm back in the office now. And hopefully I will have the office transformation video done 
soon. Um, but until then, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it inspired you to, uh, I don't know, branch out, learn something new, maybe hit your own reading list, finish your own reading list. Because if you have a reading list, you should be trying to work on it. And reading is just, it's, it's good for you. It's, um, you know, leaves you educated and cultured and, and all that stuff. So yeah. Until next time, love yourself and your world.